Hey guys, welcome back again to another technology guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the tilt shift effect in Photoshop. In CS6 they've made it so much easier to do so I'm going to be walking you through that now and let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you need to do is select an image that will work well with the tilt shift effect. Make sure it's an image of say a city or a, you know a train uh, from up above. Uh, it really makes this effect look so much better. Uh, the effect is somewhat of a kind of like a fake miniature uh, effect. So if you've ever seen that effect, it's really awesome when done right on the correct images. So the first thing that you want to do is go up to where you see filter which is right here so click on filter and then once you've done that go down to blur and then go right over here to the third one down that says tilt shift and click on that option once you've done that a new interface will open up and you will see all of this good stuff here now I'm going to go down from the top to the bottom the first thing that you're going to see is the blur that's how much blur you're going to get you can adjust the blur by adjusting this here under the tilt shift option or you can go over to your image and right here where you see this circle you can click on the outside of that circle and decrease or increase the blur by just clicking on that circle there within your image the next thing we're going to see is our distortion how much distortion do you want and by distortion that means fuzziness that kind of thing it, it controls the shape of the blur distortion okay so you click on that and get that where you want it now again there is no set you know settings for this it all depends on the image that you have and the effect that you are trying to achieve so I'm gonna increase my blur on up just a little bit there next I'm going to show you how to move that blur now you can click right here uh, anywhere right here on the circle click and hold and drag that you know up and down again to adjust how much blur you want and then click anywhere on it there on the screen outside of that circle and you'll be able to drag the blur down uh, you know or up to wherever you want it you can also increase the size of the area that will be clear or blurry you know by clicking on these lines here and increasing or decreasing those and then once you've done that you've got a few other blur effects over here to your right you have the light bokeh here and the bokeh color which is right here underneath that you can play around with those on your image to kind of get a, a better effect again this all depends on what image you have chosen uh, as to what settings you want to set these to so I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine right there and then you can adjust the light range down here which I am NOT going to do once you are done with that effect click on the blue OK button in the upper right hand corner just like so and you now have a nice tilt shift effect again this effect is supposed to look as if it's a fake miniature set you know like a fake miniature train set or whatever it may be really neat effect CS6 has really made it much easier to do if however you have any questions on how to go about doing this put them in the comment box below or visit our forums at premiumtechtips.com post your question or tutorial suggestion there thank you so much for watching my videos it means a lot to me don't forget to subscribe for more great content like this like this video share it with your friends and family and I will see you guys next time.